In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the emission spectrum for hydrogen. Recall, because electrons only occupy discrete positions within the atom, atoms only emit discrete or certain colors of light. In contrast, a light bulb will emit all the colors of light. And when viewed through a prism, you'll see all the colors separated out. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. This is called a continuous spectrum. It's when all the colors of light are present. This here is a sample of a gas. The light emitted here can be broken up into its constituent colors as well. If we expose the light to a prism, we discover that only certain lines are visible. It looks like this particular element only emits six different colors. This is called an emission spectrum. This is a continuous spectrum. This is all of the colors, and this is just some of the colors. Let's take a look at an actual emission spectrum. These are the four visible colors that hydrogen emits. A deep purple, a purple, a blue, and on the far right we have a red. Now let's say we wanted to know the wavelength of that particular color of red light. Well, we can use something called a spectroscope to help us do that. The spectroscope allows light to come in through here and the viewer looks through this end and you'll see the light that is projected on this little screen this would be located inside the box and it would enable the viewer to determine what the wavelength was so using a spectroscope we could determine that this particular color of light has a wavelength of 500 sorry 656 nanometers now if we know the wavelength of light we can calculate the frequency of that light using the equation f equals c over lambda. And then when we have the frequency, we can calculate how much energy that particular photon of light had. We'll use the formula E equals h times f. Now this is important. By knowing the energy of the emitted light, we know the change in energy the electron experienced and therefore the electron's position within the atom. So in summary, every element gives off its own colors of light. It's almost like a fingerprint that's unique for each element. And using a spectroscope, we can calculate what the wavelengths are that are emitted by that particular element. Knowing the wavelength, we can calculate the frequency. Knowing the frequency, we can calculate the energy. And by knowing the energy, that tells us information about the electron's position within the atom.